Good morning, Central Auto Parts. This is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. This is Jason at Dakota Ridge. We're at a 5 16 fuel line. Can you please send me another 25-foot reel? Each year, thousands of cars need a fuel line hose replaced. Until the mid-80s, hose inside diameter was the only thing that mattered for most cars. But times have changed and automotive professionals must be sure they're providing the correct hose. Customer safety and a clean environment depend on knowing which fuel line hose to install. Before 1985, most cars and trucks on the road had carburetors, externally mounted fuel pumps, and one or two blends of gasoline. Back then, general purpose carbureted fuel line hose met all the requirements for fuel, vacuum, crankcase ventilation, and emission control systems of the time. Now, 97% of cars and trucks are fuel injected. The fuel pump is submersed inside the gas tank and fuel blends include aggressive chemicals. General purpose carbureted hose hasn't changed, however, so it's not the best solution for today's vehicles. Automotive professionals need to ask the right questions to be sure the right hose is installed. Hey Jason, is this for fuel injection? That's a critical question. Fuel injectors atomize fuel by forcibly pumping it through a small nozzle under high pressure. General purpose carbureted fuel hoses were never designed to handle those pressures and can easily rupture. For safety reasons then, you need to install the correct hose for the application. There are also legal requirements to consider. Many American states have adopted regulations designed to protect the environment. CARB regulations, short for California Air Resources Board, stipulate that any device, apparatus, or mechanism intended for use with a pollution control device must not alter the original design of the system. Most original equipment, cars, and light trucks have been using CARB-approved low-permeation fuel line hose for over 20 years as a pollution control device. In addition, most small engine and off-highway equipment have been using low-permeation hose since 2007. So, replacing OEM low-permeation hose with general-purpose carbureted fuel hose will alter the original design of the system. In other words, it is illegal in states that have adopted CARB regulations. Many states have adopted CARB legislation, and more states are considering their own legislation every day. The key point is this. If you stock and sell the correct hose, you never have to worry about it. And watch out for this common mistake. If the hose says CARB on the ley line, it does not mean carbureted. It means that it meets CARB requirements and is environmentally approved and suitable for today's new fuels. Here's another problem with general purpose carbureted fuel hose. Fuel today has changed dramatically and is still changing. Today, there are diesel, biodiesel, 100% methanol, and a growing blend of fuels containing ethanol and various ethers designed to reduce pollution. There are more than 40 different blends in the U.S. today. Recently, the EPA allowed an increase of ethanol from 10% to 15% for model year 2001 and newer cars. These fuel blends have chemical compositions that can damage standard rubber compounds. Higher levels of ethanol are especially aggressive. Because there's no way to know exactly what mix of fuel is in the tank at any given time, there is no way to predict how quickly the rubber in a general purpose fuel hose will deteriorate and fail. You don't want an unnecessary comeback, so recommending a hose that can withstand newer blends is very important. Here is the bottom line. General purpose carbureted hose is no longer for general purpose. Even though it still has limited application today, general purpose carbureted fuel hose accounts for more than 90% of all fuel line hose sold. That means the majority of repairs are being done with the incorrect hose for the application. Yet the cost to install the correct hose is small. Here are five simple questions that can help you make the right hose selection. Number one, is the hose replacement for PCV slash EEC or vacuum lines? Then recommend Napa belts and hose safety stripe hose or barricade hose. Number two, is the application pre-1985 or a carbureted vehicle? Or is it a small engine application? Recommend Napa belts and hose barricade carburation hose. It has the green shield barrier, made of an engineered thermoplastic material that minimizes permeation and exceeds carb standards. The inner tube is made of compounds that withstand aggressive fuel blends. Question number three. Is it a fuel-injected vehicle? Always insist on Napa belts and hose barricade fuel injection hose. 
It has the highest pressure rating and safety factor of any aftermarket fuel hose. It also has the same green shield barrier technology and a chemically resistant inner tube to withstand today's multiple fuel blends and deliver the lowest permeation performance of any hose in the industry. Here's another important benefit of Napa Barricade Fuel Hoses, Fuel Savings. Barricade Hose, as the name implies, with its patent-pending Green Shield technology, was designed to dramatically reduce the amount of gasoline lost through permeation. A two-foot section of Barricade Hose, in fact, saves one gallon of gas each year compared to 30R7 hose. That not only helps the environment, but provides an important cost incentive for consumers. Consider this. There are approximately 6.5 million feet of general-purpose carbureted hose sold annually in the Canadian automotive aftermarket. If all of that demand used the correct barricade-type hose, it would result in a savings of 12.5 million liters of gas each year. You do the math, but it's roughly $16 million in annual savings from the correct selection of barricade hose. Question number four. Is the hose application for a fuel pump inside the gas tank? Always specify Napa belts and hose submersible hose for in-tank applications. It always says submersible on the ley line, so you know it's built to withstand chemicals on the inside and outside of the tube. And finally, question number five. Is this for a marine application? Always specify Napa belts and hose marine fuel line hose. It's specifically designed to exceed all Coast Guard requirements for fire resistance. You can verify it is U.S. Coast Guard approved by looking for the U.S. CG on the ley line. We'll send you another reel of Napa Barricade Fuel Injection Hose. Do you need any submersible hose, Jason? So, although fuel hose systems have gotten more complex, selecting the right hose is simple. If you ask five simple questions, it just makes sense. Stocking and selling the right hose can give you the peace of mind that you are providing the safest product complying with all regulations, lowering your customer's fuel costs, and all the while protecting the environment. It's what you've come to expect from Napa.